Yeah, well, um, I can see that you hear me speaking in the ring and I've heard a lot. I don't want to say much about what has happened because since the they one that you got landed in this country, um, a lot has happened due to uh, training, how I'll get myself food to eat and how if I finish, sorry, if I finish this fight, how I'll get my pay. I don't know anything about about how I'll get all these kind of things. And so, due to the main bout, I am the main bout. The promoter has not paid, I think, the sanction fee that is supposed to pay for the bet to be shown to everyone here. Especially and also, also yes, especially on the, the way, on the way. Yeah. and also the the sanction fee is supposed to be paid so that the match commissioner for the belt will be here, and I think allow the fight to go on. But you can see that the match commissioner is not here for the belt; it's not here, and that's what they have been saying that they have gone for for the man. We, the man also is going through the same problems that we are facing here. He's also going through the same issue. And it's, not, it's unfair. Boxing is not like that. We don't do boxing that way, you see. And I've, I've traveled a lot. Fight, I've fight in Africa, some of African countries. I've not experienced such a thing before. This is my first time experiencing this. And it's not good because this is boxing. As I'm talking to you now, I even ate around eight something before coming here. Around Since eight. morning. Since morning. Yes. The only one ate. Yes. I ate eight around eight something before I came to fight. So why? It's because the the promoter is not attending to me to feed me. And it's unfair. I, I don't want to say much, but you see, I'm like this is like exposing him, but not exposing him. I've not experienced this before, and we don't do boxing like this. I have a manager at the same time, promoter. We have promoted a lot of fights that we have not done such a thing like this before, you know. And look at the time now. I was signed a contract to fight 31st, not 1st. July, right? First June, yeah. And look at your time. What's today's date? Yes, and it's Saturday. I was signed to fight on Friday, 31st. So, if yes, and I supposed to grab my money still, so, but I don't think they can pay. This fight has been postponed without our knowledge. We're supposed to fight last two months. In, in uh, I think, what well, uh, April 27th, the fight was postponed. That we don't know anything about it. Without, With, any, without reason. any reason, the fight just was is is just postponed, just like that. So we're supposed to take uh, compensation, 40% compensation. I have the that contract in my bag right there. You're supposed to take that compensation. The full one contract. The, the, the fight contract. But the compensation has not come. Yet we are still going through another issue that they have given us a date. See, I don't want to fight. It's my coach who is confusing me to fight. I don't want to fight because we, we're supposed to go according to the contract. The date. It's in the contract. I was supposed to do the fight on the date. So why did but you obey to, to, to come all the way in yesterday? Because the coach want me to consider them and fight. That's I, I I I respect my coach and I don't want to disobey him. So I just say okay, if you say so, let's do it and look at what they are still doing. Today is first June. You see, so this is unfair. Are you disappointed? Yes. Yeah.
Yes, I left that. So the uh, problem is uh, we're out of time of the contract or the problem is uh, bad beef? We are, we are out of date. We are out of ma money compensation, I mean contract. We are out of the contract, money compensation and all kind of things. A lot. The promoter knows himself, so you see that he's calm. He cannot do any rush, like he wants to hold me responsibility and he cannot do that. Okay. I'm supposed to hold him responsibility because I told him I will expect my money here before I enter into the ring. He said, okay, and we agree on that. The TV at the top over there, there's a lady who came to us also we both signed a contract and they agreed that the contract that we have signed they will make sure they do what is in the contract but yet what what the message of uh, your promoter about this scenario yeah what i have nothing to tell him but um I know he cannot never do this in Ghana, so I don't urge him to do that too. Because I remember the last time uh, you fought with Tanzanian uh, fighter, yes. Amis Maya, yes. in your hometown. Mm -hmm. So tell us the experience of that fight, uh, different between this fight. Oh yeah, you know Ghana, we, we know how the rules goes. So we don't, whenever we sanction a fight that you are fighting maybe with an uh, outsider, we, you know they go according according to the dates and the time. So always the fights that have been have been through with foreigners, we um, we always do what is the contract. We have not disobeyed any of them before because we don't want our name or the country name to be spoiled or the boxing board name will, will be spoiled. So we don't we have not done any uh, back sliding promotion in any of our contract. So uh, Patrick, uh, definitely the uh, problem is not a Moaquino. The problem is all about uh, to promoters and his people, according to uh, on your side. Uh, the thing is, the, the problem is not from Moaquino. It's not from me too as well. Okay. It's not from the sanction body also as well it's from the promoter and it's true yes because i heard that the promoter was saying that uh it's hard here to get a dollar and you want to promote a fight yeah. and you know the opponent coming from outside will expect the pay in a dollar so what do you expect to do if we add uh, first June to the date that means three months and you, you and still you have not got the dollar why are you serious are you are you being fair to what we are doing so you're not much enough to promote the fight the heavy fight like this or not yeah yes that's what I can say whatever he has done today that I've witnessed with my eye eyes it's unfair. Yes. So how did you trust him? No trust. Before this scenario, how did you trust him? And then to be able to fight on this Before, fight? Before, I was not trusting him because he failed for the first contract and nothing nothing comes out tangible that we can uh, stick to that. But, you know, the uh, match commissioner is from Ghana and he called and he said, no, look, the promoter, I've talked to the promoter and he said he will compensate you with $500. So let's do the work like that. You just take the $500 and come and fight. And I, I said, okay, it's because of respect that I have for that man because I've been, I, I, I fought uh, WBO twice. So I said, okay, with the respect that I have for WBO board, let me accept the offer that the promoter wants to bring so that I'll come and fight. And I did that. And look at what has happened again. Who is your matchmaker? My my matchmaker? Yeah. For this fight? Yeah. I think the matchmaker, 
the, the matchmaker is from the promoter the promoter inside because the yeah. everything he did it. yes because i have i have some evidence That's that shows problem. that uh the promoter called me uh, he was chatting with me on water he was chatting with me but i did not know before we got here there's some issue and i told him that there was a man who is chatting me talking to me that you pay this and that I don't know if you can go through this. Before you told us, oh. You see, before, before. So, the, the matchmaker, this, this, this guy. Yes. Because I'm asking Martin is called Chamoma. So this guy was the one who is talking to me. So I accept this fight on a condition that they said they will pay me fourteen thousand. My, my manager called me and told me that I will expect pay as $14,000. But this man was talking to me. See, I, I told him that I'll collect 15K. He said no. First, he said 10. I said no. 15. He said no. So we were jaw jaw about it. Yes, too much. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Then I think it's fine. Let's wait. You see. Patrick, this time, March, due date from 15. We're going to give you the contract to know. Please, they do the sum of us on O. Mm -hmm. um, you see. Bona uh contract uh Mazungumzo requirementia hapa uh kutokana na Patrick Alotei. So the problem not uh Patrick Alotei, the problem not uh, about a uh, coach of Patrick Alotei, uh the problem it is so Nadani hapa mnaona ndugu zangu na tunachanganya hivi pia hata ndugu zetu pia waweze kufahamu kile ambacho wanakizungumza. Sio hapaona ama si tunachokizungumza. So mimi pacho brother. Yeah. Eh mimi pacho and uh, I used to be in Ghana. Okay. Yeah. Yes, one domo. Okay, so you are speaking tree, right? Aqua. Ah. Aqua na mau. Yeah. In Accra. No, I'm not about boxing. Oh. Yeah, I was there for the evening. Aqua na mau. Hey, he's speaking that way. <laughs> okay, so uh, we have a government here, we have a boxing commission here, and we have a sports and national council here. Uh, send them the message to them. Yeah, well. Uh, the message to them is I need to be paid because I've signed a contract. The fault is not from me, it's not from my coach. You came, we what we, we want at this advantage. Yeah. We prepare ourselves. We are they didn't ready. give you the bandage. We are ready to go to the ring. I we move it. I move it from his son. Because he was wearing it over three hours. I'm wearing start, my boxing boot, you can see. The hands start doing stiff. Yes. And, and, and the hands get I just removed. So we have to move them. <laughs> have to move it. Okay, Mike. You see? It's a shame. Yeah? Yeah, it's a shame. Because you cannot dress somebody who is going to fight. You tape him, and you know this tape too is not something soft. For over three hours, you have to move it. Then later, they come and tell us. There's a fight. So they have to pay you guys. Oh yes. Of course. What's the compensation? Plus the compensation. Of course they have to pay. They have to pay. You want me to bring because you you, 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 you promise you, you promise you promise to give us compensation. That is five hundred dollars. We agreed. Now we are here. The fight is not coming on. No no compensation. The fight has been cancelled. The the contract was yesterday. Today is on the first, so you people should agree to us. We have to get our money. Thank you. You're welcome. We don't want to go far, but you guys have made it go far. And you know, boxing, you cannot travel from your country and come and you are ready to fight, and the promoter is not ready to pay, and then you go back to your country with empty handed. I have four kids. I have four kids that depends on me. You see, they just opened school in Ghana. So school was vacated. They just resumed school. So I need to go and pay school fees and some things. So I took this fight to make sure my kids are okay because I don't want my kids to depend on another. I want them to depend on me because That's I brought them into the world. That's what you're yes. 
And so, to the boxing board that you are asking, they're supposed to make sure this promoter pay us or pay me my money. As they, 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 it, it should be banned from boxing because, because this is unfair in boxing. You cannot do this to some. How I make like this statement? You cannot you know, do this to. You know, you know uh, some of your boxers have been in Ghana before. Ask Amif Simaya. Ask them when they came. How they were, how they were treated. Ask them. The one he fought. Eh? The, is the, his manager was the promoter. Ask him when he came, the way he was treated. He will tell you. We don't have much to say. But this is too different because uh, we used to host your Ghani. Yeah, the country, your countryman here. Yeah. Uh, Evis Aoga used to fight, uh, to fight with Sassan Makinyo mm -hmm. and Tanz, but yeah. the last one fight is WBO. Yeah. But it's so different than this. So why am I? Maybe yeah, they're yeah. different from other. Yeah, we, yeah. we, we are not really sure, but maybe. Because nah. the, 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 the promoter of that of last one fight is... This one. So were you here that uh, our uh, our gun fought with Marquinho? Yeah. Do you do you know the promotion, not this, not this promotion? Mm -hmm. So that means this promotion is not good. So yeah. you the media That's need the to investigate on the promoter very well before because because, because if not that yeah, it will that. spoil your work. Thank you, bro. Yeah. Okay. Okay.